It's Frontier Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, the Frontier Red Hawks take on Munson High School in an independent matchup from Goodno Gymnasium. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins directly at courtside at Goodno Gymnasium as the Frontier Red Hawks hit the floor in search of their first win of the season. They are 0-2 in the young season. No record so far in league play. This will be their third independent matchup against what's believed to be a pretty good Munson team. And Frontier Red Hawks, of course, coming in here. They're a young team this year. Somewhat, you know, not sure what to expect this year from this team. They have four seniors. The one guy that I think you're going to see a lot of this year in terms of scoring is Karsten Carey. He's a junior. We've been following Karsten's career since he was a freshman. And uh, he is going to be one of the big men, one of the elite big men to look for in this league. There's a lot of good, young, inside talent in this league this year, and Karsten Carey is going to be right in the thick of it. Uh, Frontier typically plays strong defense and is pretty quick off the walk, so we'll see what happens as they go out in search of their first win against a, must, a, months, a Munson Mustang team that's relatively small in terms of its numbers, but has some skilled basketball players and always puts on a pretty competitive program. So let's see what happens. We'll go to the floor for the announcements. Against this evening are the Mun Mustangs from Munson High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. First for Munson, at guard, number 10, Logan Geary. At guard, number 31, Chris Sisko. At center, number 21, Dylan Gunther. At forward, number 4, Peter Miller. And at forward, number 22, Alex Merrigan. Munson is coached by Joe Trivisano. And now for Frontier, at guard, number 1, Alex Sharp. At guard, number two, Kaylin Evans. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 12, Jared Muzica. And at forward, number 11, Ben Lenskowski. Frontier is coach by Ben Marischewski. The officials for tonight's game are Steve Kreitz and Dave Hastings. All right, here we go. Frontier versus Munson. Kevin Murphy is the executive producer of Frontier Basketball. Alec Eckel, Sam Finch here doing the filming. I'm Chris Collins. And again, uh, these broadcasts being brought to you by Attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Also brought to you by Raymond Financial Services and Leader Home Centers. We play eight-minute quarters here in high school basketball here in Western Mass. It's going to be Alex Sharp, Kaylin Evans, Ben Listowski, Jared Muzika, and Karsten Carey, the five on the floor for the Frontier Red Hawks. Miller, Gary, Gunther, Merrigan, Cisco. The five for Munson. We're ready to rock. Tip control by the Mustangs, and then the back quarter goes to Peter Miller to Logan Gary, who will set up the offense for Munson. He pounds the ball into the floor, looking to set something up here. Goes right wing to Miller. Out of the right corner, pass is blocked by Carey out of bounds. It'll still be Munson ball, but 10 seconds only on the shot clock. Very deliberate opening set for Munson. And down to Gary, back over to Miller. Trying to feed the paint, and it's knocked away by Frontier. Outlet pass from Carey to Alex Sharp. Sharp in the middle to Muzika. Lestowski left side, right side to Sharp. In the corner to Muzika, up fake. Drive through, cross court pass down the corner to Ben. Ben back out to Kalen. Nine seconds to shoot. Sharp drives right baseline, shut off. Kick back out to Evans. And they're not going to get a shot off, I don't think. Nope. Shot clock violation. Oh, but he almost banked it. A rebound, though. No. Pulled down by Muzika, so he did get the shot off. 
Ezekiel with a good rebound, but the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be once in ball. So a couple of very deliberate opening offensive sets for both teams. Miller now with the ball on the right side. Back in the middle. Go cross court. Quick perimeter passing back outside to Miller. And they'll set it back up again. This is Gary now. Logan goes left side to Gunther. And a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's going to be on, I believe, Karsten Carey, his first team's first. Possession foul. Munson to inbound under the frontier basket. They lob it out. Quick jumper by Gary in the lane. No good. Carey the rebound. Quick outlet to Sharp. Alex goes cross court now. And pass to Muzika is tipped away. Stolen by Munson. Now Gary, a fadeaway jumper. And he's good. And it's 2 0. Munson, a little front court pressure. And steal by Gary. Gary, bounce pass, laid up and in by Merrigan. 4 0. She thought it was Dylan Gunther on the pass. Pass down court, tipped ahead into the hands of Lestowski who hits the layup. And they're going to say it was a carry, so Frontier will get the ball back. So a break for the Red Hawks. Sharp to inbound under the basket. He does, left elbow. Zika in the middle to Evans. Right side of Lestowski. Lestowski up fakes. Left corner to Sharp. Sharp for three, no good. Deep rebound comes out, but controlled by Frontier. Mastoski. Evans. Evans tries to drive the baseline, blows through with a Munson player. And it's going to be a blocking foul on Munson. That's going to be Gunther's first, team second. Non-shooting. Sharp in down, bound for the Hawks. Got five seconds to get in. Lobs it out to Carey on the right elbow. Carey tries to drive through. Gets hit on the way through. And that's going to be a foul on Munson. Blocking again. That's going to be on Merrigan. So two quick team fouls. Now Lestowski driving through. And got stripped on the way up. And they're going to say that that was a held ball possession arrow. I was actually going to say it was just a clean steal, I think. Either way, it's Munson's ball. Gunther inbounds to Gary. Now back to Gunther. Runs it up. Jumper from the left elbow is no good. Rebound comes out to Merrigan. And now a three ball top of the key. Front of the iron, no good. Merrigan the rebound. The put back blocked by Carey. Into the hands of Lestowski. Nice play by Karsten. Lestowski now in the middle. Zika, right side is Sharp. Sharp, three ball, good. A Frontier's first lead of the ball game, 5-4 Red Hawks, 4.50 to go first quarter. And now Merrigan, excuse me, Gary trying to make something happen there. He traveled. A little out of control there was Munson. So Frontier gets the ball back. Sharp gets the inbounds pass. Left side pass for Lestowski, not a great pass. Stolen by Miller. Miller tries to drive up, loses control of the ball. It's going to be Frontier basketball. So good steal by Miller, but could not control the basketball, and Frontier will get it back. Bob in to carry. Again, some pressure. A little bit of a press by Munson, broken by Frontier. Evans up to Sharp to carry. Carry bumped in the lane off the glass and in. Are they going to count it? No. I guess not. I guess the foul, was it a foul or? Traveling, okay, yeah. They didn't really make it clear. <laughs> so it was a travel. Now Gary trying to drive through. And off the glass and in. Nice little dish off to Merrigan. Or Cisco, excuse me. Lestowski, bullet pass through the lane. Laid up and in by Kalen Evans. 7-6 Frontier. Four minutes to go. Now Sharp. Put a little pressure on the Munson backcourt. Pushed up ahead to Merrigan. 
Back out to Gary. And they try and drive through, it's shut off. Back to Miller, Gary. And count it one. And it's gonna be a blocking foul on Muzika. Just enough roll. And that makes it 8-7. So Logan Gary will go to the line. It's the first foul on Alex Sharp, second on the team. Checking into the game for the Red Hawks, Owen Moore seeing his first time. Owen is a freshman, a number of freshmen on this team. And the foul shot is no good. Jared Musica the rebound, that let pass to Evans. Evans drives, pushes it back out to Musica, shot up no good. Battle for the rebound, Musica gets it back. Now a three-pointer by Owen Morris is no good. And it's gonna be a foul onto the basket, and that's gonna, I think, be on Karsten Carey. That's gonna be two quickies on him. So Karsten's gonna sit and make way for little brother Peter Carey, who's a freshman. I think Peter is actually taller than Karsten. Pretty close to it. That's a big kid for a freshman. He's not done growing, I'm pretty sure. Backcourt pressure now by Owen Morse. Broken by Munson. Quick jumper from the left elbow is no good. Deep rebound pulled down by Owen Morse. Morse. Bounce pass left side to Ben. Listowski being hassled. Drives the baseline, kicks it right side to Evans. And now, top of the key, it's Musica. Left side to Owen Morse. Morse in the corner to Kalen Evans. Evans trying to make something happen out there. Nine seconds to shoot. He throws it off of Peter Miller, so it's still going to be frontier ball, but only seven ticks on that shot clock. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 2.45 to go in the first quarter, and it's Munson 8, Frontier 7. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television is brought to you in part by Attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Give Dan a call. He has a law practice in Greenfield. He is also Deerfield's town moderator. Also by Leader Home Centers. Five locations to serve you. And uh, if you have any home building needs, check out Leaders. And Raymond Financial Services right there on Route 5 and 10 in Deerfield. All sponsors of Frontier Athletics. By the way, you can watch all of these games at our FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. We have a number of games coming up. It's going to be a busy winter. And uh, Frontier Red Hawks, culpably in the postseason mix. A lot of young talent in this league this year and a lot of parity, most of it inexperienced parity. So we'll talk more about that as we go on. Evans to inbound. Again, seven seconds on the shot clock. He lobs it way out to Owen Morse. Five seconds, four. And they get it to Evans, and he lays it up and in at the last possible second. They used every bit of that clock. 9-8 Frontier. 2.33 to go in the first quarter. Logan Gary now with the ball between the rings. Gary calling out the play. 18 seconds on the shot clock. They're very deliberate. Now a spin through the lane, laying it up and in is Dylan Gunther. Nice little scoop move. Now Musica. Left side to Morse. In the corner, and Morse traveled before he threw a pass, so Munson will get the ball back. It'll be Gary to inbound. And he will throw it in to Dylan Gunther. And guarded by Morse. Gary, bounce pass up head, threads the needle. In the corner, jumper from three by Cisco is no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Lob pass ahead to Morse. Morse collides with the Munson player. Out of bounds, and it will still be Frontier basketball. Checking into the game is Donovan Hoffman. Kaelin Evans takes a seat with four points. 
Stoski to inbound for Frontier. Lobs it back out to Hoffman. Left side to Morse. In the corner to Musica. Kicks it back out to Morse. Morse looking to set something up. Bounce pass to Musica. Left elbow. Musica drives the baseline. Kicks it out tied. Jumper for three is good by Ben Lestoski. 12 10 Frontier. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Kick. That's going to be a reset. Hit the foot of Lestoski. Down third inbound right in front of us. It's Logan Gary. Gary between the circles, right side to Miller. Miller in the corner. Jumper for three is good. Out of the corner by Cisco. Now Morse for three. Rims out no good. Rebound controlled by Munson. Here comes Gary. Jumper from the corner. Front of the iron, no good. Lestowski, jumper is good. That's for three. Couple of three balls for Ben in this half, this quarter. 15-13, Frontier by two, 40 seconds left. There's a steal and a put up, no good. And the rebound controlled by Peter Miller. Now in the corner it goes to Craterville. And a travel. So shot clock is off. 25.4 seconds to go in the quarter. Frontier to inbound under their own basket. Gunther checks out. Comes Morse at the circle. Morse runs right side to Hoffman. Hoffman back to Morse. Back to Hoffman. Back to Morse. Top of the key. Morse cross court to Hoffman. In the corner. Jumper from Uzika for three is no good. Rebound pulled down. And oh! Fires it down court. Unable to. Hit the basket. We played one quarter from Goodo Gymnasium. The end of one quarter, it's Frontier 15. And it is Munson 13. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Sam Finch out here at Goodno Gymnasium. First of what will be several broadcasts of Frontier Basketball this winter. In fact, our next broadcasts, well, next week we'll have Wakona in this gym on the 27th. And then on the 29th, Frontier travels to Mohawk for a Friday night tilt. That's always a good matchup whenever those two schools get together in any sport. Uh, Mohawk rebuilding, new coach, new uh, strategy, and they've had their challenges putting the ball in the basket the last few seasons. That's a game the Red Hawks probably should win, but you never know. In a rivalry game like that, anything can happen. But tonight, Pretty good back and forth with Munson, and the Red Hawks now two points better than the Mustangs. Mostoski inbound in front of us to Owen Morse. Start the second quarter. Owen runs right side, kicks it back to Muzika. Left side to Listowski. Ben drives through, hands it off to Hoffman, travel. So Gunther to inbound. Throws it into Gary. He's got Owen Morse bothering him. Up to Gunther. Now back over to Logan Gary. Drives through. Shot up his block from behind by Lestowski. Great play by Ben. That led to Owen Morse. Morse. Right side to Hoffman. Back to Morse. Cross court to Lestowski. Back in the middle to Morse. Morse tries a pick and roll. And a whistle. It's going to be a blocking foul on Munson. It's going to be on Merrigan. Achieve it will be on Gunther, his second, so he'll sit. Mostoski out, and Evans back in. And Morse is out. And Sharp is back in. Three ball by Donovan, front of the iron, no good goes into the stands and it will be 
uh, Munson basketball. So pretty good passing right now. Good ball movement by, Moha by uh, Frontier, but have not been as successful shooting as they would like, I'm sure. Gary trying to drive through. Double pump, clutch shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Alex Sharp now. Right side it goes to Muzika. Now inside pass to Peter Carey. Cross court to Sharp. Sharp inside to Peter. On the baseline off the glass and in by Kalen Evans. He's got six points in this game. Frontier by four. Largest lead of the game for the Red Hawks. Some more pressure applied by the Frontier guards. Broken by Munson. We set the offense up. Peter Miller, middle to Logan Gary. Gary right side to Miller. Down to the right elbow. Back to Gary. Over to Cisco. In the corner. Four seconds on the shot clock. They're not going to get a shot off, I don't think. They did. In front of the iron, no good. Nope, shot clock violation. Good defense by Frontier again. Zika to inbound for the Red Hawks. Leading by four. Alex Sharp crosses the timeline. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman trying to spin away. Looking for some help. Lobs it back to Evans. Back to Hoffman. Tries to feed the paint. Stolen back by Munson. This is Gary again. Gary, no look pass down low. Reverse layup on the baseline. Tipped up and in by the trailer. And that was Cameron Credival. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. 5.41 to go in the half. It is Frontier 17, Munson 15. This is Red Hawk basketball. Frontier Community Access. Time. Frontier girls picked up a nice win the other night against the Athol Red Raiders. And uh, they'll be in action Wednesday this week against the Greenfield Green Wave. That's going to be at Greenfield. That's going to be a good game. And the girls will be back in action again a week from Thursday, the 28th, in this building against the Wakona Warriors. That Greenfield team is a lot of expectations, and that's going to be a real early season test for Ella Dean and the fellow Lady Red Hawks. Frontier to inbound. Muzika throws it in to Sharp. Sharp running right side. Spins back the other way. Left side it goes to Mistoski. Ben being hassled. Back over to Evans. Mistoski, three ball from the corner. Side of the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Cisco. Here come the Mustangs. And then, then there's the reverse lay-in by Peter Miller. He tried that before, didn't work. That time he got it. And we're tied at 17. Mastowski gets the lead pass up ahead from Sharp. Mastowski trying to get Alex, and Alex gets bumped by Cisco. That is going to be his first team's fourth. So we're nowhere near shooting at this point. Mastowski inbound. He does to Evans. Mastowski feeds the paint. The layup packed in the act was... Jared Muzika, and he will get a couple of foul shots. Jared Muzika, one of the four seniors on this Red Hawk team. First foul shot is no good. We'll get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you by attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. Also by Raymond Financial Services. Second shot is no good. He misses them both. And a bump. That's going to be on Musica. So we're all tied at 17. Five minutes to go in the half. Back into the game is Owen Morse. He replaces Alex Sharp. This is Logan Gary. Leads the paint. Back to Gary. Gary for three. Got bumped on the way up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Muzika. Munson fans want to call on that one. Morse now. To Muzika. Muzika gets hammered going through. 
the lane, layup no good. So play getting very physical, and uh, the refs have swallowed their whistles, it appears, at this point. Foul is going to be on Kalen Evans, his first. And it's going to be two shots for Logan Gary. First one is no good. Sh sharp in. And Peter Carey out. So Frontier going with what looks like a three-guard offense. Stoski will probably shift over to the middle. Second shot is no good. But the rebound put back by Craterville is good. Now the outlet pass is thrown away as things have gotten a bit sloppy here in the second quarter. Munson will get the ball right in front of the Frontier bench. Ben Barshevsky slapped the floor in disgust, not happy with what he's seeing right now on his team. Inbound pass to Gary. Excuse me, that's, uh, that's actually Dylan Gunther with the ball. Left side it goes. And I'm going to say he stepped on the baseline, I think, but it was a clean block to by Lestoski. Either way, Frontier gets the ball back. Sharp now. Up ahead to Evans. Back to Sharp. Left side to Morse. Morse. Right side to Sharp. Back to Morse. Cross court to Lestoski. Now Morse for three. Good. Good. Nailed it. Knocked it down. That gives front to the lead back 20 to 19. Gunther now. His right side to Ben Malo just checked into the game for Munson. Malo. On the right elbow. Feeds the paint. And Craddaville tried to muscle his way through. Drew the foul. So Cam Craddaville will shoot two here. That's two fouls on Ben Lestowski. In front of the iron, no good. That Craddaville kid's a big kid. Peter Carey back into the game. Then Ben will have a seat with the two fouls. Craddaville with the second foul shot. Could tie the game if he hits it. And that's good. All tied at 20. 3.33 to go in the half. Sharp now. Crosses the timeline. Right side to Morse. Now over to Carey. Right elbow. Trying to feed the paint to Muzika. Not a great pass. And they're going to give the ball back. Possession arrow will favor Munson. And down pass goes to Miller. Out on the right side to Melo. Melo tries to drive through, loses control, gets it back. Over to Gary. Gary feeds the paint to Credville. Credville, turn around, shot kind of an off balance shot, no good. Well defended, rebound control by Frontier. Evans now, running it up. Ball hits his foot. And here come the Mustangs. This is Gary, shot up, no good. And a call a blocking foul. Ben Barshevsky does not like that call. He thought he had the lane blocked. But he's not going to win the argument. Foul is going to be on Owen Morse. His first, team's eighth. And it's two shots for Logan Gary. Only one foul shot's been made out of four attempts this first half, or five attempts. They get six. Craddaville will sit. And back into the game. Cisco. Second shot is good by Gary. Time on Munson. We'll take the break. 2.51 to go in the half. It is Munson 21, Frontier 20. This is Red Hawk Basketball, Frontier Community Access Television. As this game is happening across the hall is the Frontier Regional High School Holiday Concert. It was rescheduled from last week's snow out. And you'll be able to get uh, that broadcast and all of our broadcasts, including the middle school concert and all these sports broadcasts, at our YouTube page, FCAT Media, 
at YouTube.com. So Clay's gotten a bit sloppy in the second quarter for Frontier. Somewhat frustrated at Ben Barshevsky calling that timeout. Sharp throws it in to Evans at half court. It's back to Alex. And then it goes to Morse in the corner. Cross court to Sharp. Sharp's going to take a three. Front of the iron, no good. Muzika the rebound. He throws it into the back court. It's not a great pass. But actually, I'm going to say it was tipped, it was tipped away. So that made that makes a little more sense because otherwise that was a very bad pass. It was tipped by the Munson player, so Frontier will keep it. Morse inbounds to Sharp. Sharp cross court to Morse. Morse to Evans. Top of the key to Muzika. Morris, Muzika, 13 to shoot. Cross court. And three second violation called on Peter Carey. So Munson will get it back. 2.17 to go in a half. And a 21 20 Munson lead. Very low scoring first half. A little backcourt pressure by Morris. And lobbed ahead. Driving through is Gunther. And then wave that basket off on the travel. Now, press by Munson, broken by Frontier. Evans, top of the key to Muzika, Sharp, back over to Owen. Sharp with a three-pointer from the left, right elbow, no good, rebound controlled. A return shot is no good. Rebound by Carey, now a running one-handed shot to the lane by Owen Morris is good. 22-21. Now a little front court pressure by Frontier. Lobbed up ahead. Three ball from the corner. He's all net by Cameron Credible. Now Carey, or Evans rather, tries to drive through. Hits the side of the backboard with the shot. Rebound controlled by Gary. Pace is quickened up here. Gary running one hander off the glass. No good. Ball tipped loose. Rebound controlled by Peter Carey. Outlet to Alex Sharp. Zekanen, right side to Sharp. Actually, that's uh, Evans just inside the arc for two. We're tied at 24. A minute to go in the first half. Gary now, top of the key. It's the pass back up fakes, drives through, stopped, blocked. Now a jumper just inside the arc by Miller is no good. Rebound tipped to Sharp. Sharp ahead, a little too out of control though. Sharp and Evans were off to the races, but the pass was just a little bit too hot for Kalen to control. 35 seconds left in the half. Driving through, hitting the side of the backboard with a shot is Gary, no good. Rebound controlled by Frontier, shot clock is off. 20 seconds left. Zika. Top of the key, no good. Ball knocked loose. Off of Sharp. And it is Munson basketball. Gunther gets the inbound pass. 13 seconds left. Eight seconds left. All tied at 24. Munson will play for a final shot. And a foul on the way through. going to be on, I believe, Owen Morse with 1.8 seconds left. And Logan Gary. Quick sub before the end of the half. And Morse will check out with the two fouls. Karsten Carey is going to check back in. So is Ben Lestoski. Morse and Sharp are out. One and one for Logan Gary. First shot is good. You will get one more.
Makes them both. A shot from the backcourt is no good, and that will be the end of the first half. We played one half here from Window Gymnasium. At the end of the first half, it is Munson 26, Frontier 24. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, here we go in three, two, one. We are at the half from Goodnow Gymnasium, and the French Red Hawks trailed in Munson Mustangs by a count of 26 to 24. Pretty low scoring first half and only a handful of players are in the book for the Frontier Red Hawks. We'll start off though with the Munson Mustangs. Uh, the leading scorer in the first half was Cameron Craddeville with 11 points. Four points for Dylan Gunther, seven points for Logan Perry, two each for Chris Sisko and for Peter Miller. For the Frontier Red Hawks, eight points for Ben Listowski, including two threes. Five for Owen Morse, eight for Kalen Evans, four field goals. And a three-pointer for Alex Sharp. And as I mentioned, uh, not a lot of flow for the good part of that second quarter, although Frontier moved the ball pretty well at times. Uh, they also uh, made some key turnovers. And uh, this is one of those games where both of these teams have made some good plays and have made some not-so-good plays. I mean, it's classic early season basketball, and everybody's going to get better as the season goes on. Uh, one thing that was surprising in that first half, Karsten Carey, no points and two fouls. Spent most of that first half on the bench. Uh, his brother Peter uh, did some time out there uh, coming in and working the paint. But Ben Listowski uh, had the unenviable task of covering Cameron Credival, Cameron Credival for Munson. So Red Hawks going to have to play a little bit more disciplined basketball in the second half if they want to get their first W of the season. Uh, this is definitely a winnable game. Though. I mean, it's been one of those games where it's a number of lead changes throughout the first half we'll see if the Hawks can come out with a little bit more fire in their eyes and uh, really work on setting up that half court offense which I mean, they were they were definitely getting out on the fast break they were pressing pretty well they were able to break Munson's press but they're going to have to do more than they did in that first half to come away with the win here and uh, Barshevsky talking to his guys getting ready to Get set up for half number two here of our opening men's basketball, boys basketball game from Frontier this season. Hawks win down the ball right in front of me. Uh, ben Lestowski to throw it in for the Red Hawks. And it's Alex Sharp, and we are underway in the second half. Sharp, right side of Lestowski. Back to Sharp. Side to Evans. Evans driving through, loses the handle. And that's just basically a turnover. Munson will get it back. Quick throw in. Backcourt pressure by Sharp. They break it. And they're into the front court. This is Gary now. Gary in the middle to Cisco. Top of the key. Back to Gary. Gary stops. Back to Cisco. 
Let's go top of the key to Miller. They feed the paint. And a three-pointer with two seconds left on the shot clock by Logan Gary. 29-24, five-point lead for Munson, their largest. Up ahead to Carey, to Evans as they break the press nicely and Caleb Evans lays it up and in. 29-26, so both these teams go into the front court press. Start this half, whoa! Gary very nearly went over and back on that one. Right elbow, a little give and go off the glass and in. Running right over Musica was Peter Miller. 31-26. Ostowski to Carey. Carey bounces off a defender. In front of the iron, no good. Put back. Oh, it just hung on the rim there. And Carey gets the follow up, and Karsten's in the book finally. 31-28. Hawks need Karsten to heat up in this half. Carey running it up. Gets the lane, lays it up. Finger roll, no good. Ostowski the rebound. Ben. Up ahead to Evans, and he lost control of it. But it's still going to be Frontier ball as it was tipped by, I believe, Peter Miller. So Frontier will keep it with 26 in the shot clock. Stosky inbounds to Evans. Evans to Sharp. Right side of Listowski, back to Sharp, top of the key. Alex. Now a little pass to Sharp on the baseline, kick back out to Sharp. No touch. Nine seconds to shoot. Evans back over. Trying to feed Carey in the paint. Just taken away by Gunther. Gunther tries to go strong to the basket. No good. Carey the rebound. Outlet to Listowski. To Sharp. Sharp to Listowski. And a three-pointer by Musica. Gets the bounce up and in. Now we're all tied at 31 again. 31-31, 5.33 to go in the third. And there's a steal by Evans. Evans lays it up, no good. And a blocking foul as Evans hits the floor. It's going to be on Logan Gary. Only two shots for Kalen Evans. And that was a nice little steal set up by the Alex Sharp sort of block. And Evans with a couple of shots. That's the first foul on Logan Gary, first team foul of the half. Evans' first foul shot front of the iron, no good. He'll get another one. Evans has 10 points to lead all frontier scorers in this game. Make it 11. 32 31. 524 to go in the third. Now there's another steal by Evans. Pulls it back down, kicks it back out to Listowski. Top of the key to Muzika, back over to Ben. Ben, right corner. Up fake. Evans runs it back the other way. Kalen in big trouble. Tries to lob it over and does to Lestowski on the baseline. Kicks it back out to Sharp. Sharp for three. Back of the iron, no good. Rebound Muzika. Back out to Evans. Evans up fakes, drives through, gets hammered on the way up. And he will get another couple of shots as he hits the floor yet again. So Kalen Evans all over the floor tonight. That time he paid for it. It's three fouls, by the way, on Dylan Gunther. And he's already on the way to the bench. Evans, first shot. He's no good. He will get one more. It has not been a great foul shooting night for either team. Kalen's second shot upcoming. In front of the iron, no good. Misses them both. Rebound knocked loose, out of bounds. And it's going to be Munson ball, says referee David Hastings. Frontier, it's not like that call, but it is. Got a little front court pressure. Robbed up ahead, Carey with a nice block. As Craddaville was thinking three, and Karsten was thinking, I don't think so. Gary to inbound for Munson. Looking for someone to throw to. And I'm going to say it was a five second violation. Good defense by Frontier to prevent that inbound pass. Sharp now with the ball. Right side, Listowski. 
Carey now, turn around jumper on the baseline is all net for Karsten Carey, who's got four points in this half. 34-31. Now Sharp making some trouble in the backcourt for Munson. Pass knocked away by Evans. Munson will keep it with 20 seconds on the shot clock. So the backcourt of Sharp and Evans have really ramped up the defense here in this second half for the Red Hawks. Inbound. Kick back outside. And it's a three-pointer for Cisco is good. And again, we're tied at 34. Four away to go, third quarter. Sharp. Steal. Up ahead to Cisco. Cisco lays it up and does not go. It's the rebound, though. Kicks it back outside. Fresh 30 for Munson. Cisco for three. At the top of the backboard, and it's going to go the other way. That was a good job by Evans to get back on defense to mess up that layup for Cisco. Now Sharp with the ball. Alex right side to Lestoski. Lestoski to Evans. Evans now with it. Cross court to Ben. Ben trying to drive through dishes to Musica in the corner. Back out to Sharp. Nine seconds. Sharp. Jumper. Air ball. Out of bounds. And we're going back the other way. And a good line, just not quite enough mustard on that shot. Cisco gets the inbound pass. Lob back to Miller. Back to Cisco. Cisco, deep three. Follows his own shot. Caught the side of the backboard, but out of bounds. Thirty-four, thirty-four, three fourteen to go. Third quarter. Alex Sharp now. Right side to Lustowski to carry on the baseline. Carey was looking for Evans, but way over his head. And Evans will sit back into the game is Owen Morse for Frontier. So Morse and Sharp in the backcourt. And a little pressure by Frontier. Lob pass ahead. And whistle and... We're going to get a foul. And who did they get? That's going to be on Alex Sharp. That's his second foul, team second of the half. Lobbed out. Cisco for three. Good. He can shoot that shot. 37-34, 249 to go in the third. More step. Left elbow to Sharp. Sharp gets hit. Leads Carey, Carey, turn around. Nice pass to Musica on the baseline. He drew double coverage, saw Jared there, and just laid it up and in. Nicely done by Carson Carey. And by Musica. Three-pointer from the corner is an air ball. Rebound pulled down by Musica. Outlet to Sharp. Here come the Red Hawks. Way ahead to Carey, though, way too far ahead. Not a great pass. Timeout on the floor. Ben Barashevsky is frustrated beyond words right now. We'll take the break. 2.17 to go in the third quarter. It's months in 37. Frontier 36. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. We don't have a microphone over on Ben Barczewski on the far sideline, but I'm not sure we need one. He's about as angry as I've seen him <laughs> in all the time he's been coaching Frontier. There's been a couple of really bad passes in the last couple of exchanges, and, and Ben is letting his guys know he is not pleased. Frontier trails 37-36, 2.17 to go in the third quarter. Frontier basketball being brought to you in part by Raymond Financial Services, also leader home centers, and attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. And again, if you have any interest in underwriting our Frontier coverage, feel free to give me a call at our Sunderland Studios, 665-0012 is the number to call. Again, some more backcourt pressure by Morris. Munson now with the ball. Gary trying to set the offense up. 
Carry right side to Miller. Now to Cisco. Back over in the corner. This is a three ball by Merrigan. And it's good. 40-36. Munson with a four point lead. Carry now with the ball. Kicks it back out to Morse. Trying to feed Muzika on the baseline. Stolen. Laid up and in. By Munson, which is starting to go on a roll. That was Cisco. He's got eight points in this half. 42-36. Munson by six. Their largest lead of this game. Morse goes left side. Trying to feed Carey. Carey back out to Sharp. Sharp for three. In and out. Rebound pulled down by Cisco. Here comes Munson. Carterville now. Top of the key to Merrigan. Jumper from the corner is no good. Deep rebound comes out to Morse. Morse up ahead to Listowski. Listowski spots up for three from the left side. The right side rather no good. Pulled down by Munson. This is Logan Gary again. Gary gets a drive through. Craddleville on the left side. Craddleville back out to Gary. Gary for three from the elbow, but he got hit by Listowski. That's going to be three foul shots for Logan Gary. Hacked in the act from three-point land means you get three freebies. That's the third foul, by the way, on Ben Listowski. Gary's first one is no good. He will get two more. 41.7 seconds left in the third quarter. Second shot. It does not go. He will get one more. Back into the game is Donovan Hoffman as well as Peter Carey. Four front here. Mostowski and Muzika will sit down. Cisco is out, and Ben Melo is in for Munson. Third shot by Merrigan, or by uh, Gary, and that one he gets. 43-36. Evans back into the game to Hoffman. They try to feed Carey, he gets bumped. Foul is gonna be on Munson. Inbound to Evans. Back out to Hoffman. Top of the key. To Evans left side. Evans inside. And Carey gets bumped on the way up. That's four fouls, by the way, on Alex Merrigan. Evans, the inbound pass, kicked back out to Hoffman. Hoffman to Karsten, turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound pulled down by Peter. Cross court to Evans. Both Carey brothers are out there now. Evans, three seconds left. Karsten, jumper at the buzzer is good. And that will end in the third quarter. He played three quarters from South Deerfield. The end of three. It is Munson 43, Frontier 38. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Fourth quarter upcoming as the Frontier Red Hawks trail the Munson Mustangs by five points. 43-38, a couple of uh, tough exchanges in that third quarter. Frontier threw a couple of passes away and it's allowed a couple of turnovers, which is the difference right now. As Munson looked like they were gonna break it open at one point. No one's really gotten a real decisive advantage in this game. Let's see if Frontier can come back and erase this five point gap. Logan Gary now, as Munson moves left to, uh, right to left, rather. Gary gets the ball in the middle to Cisco, runs right side, Cisco. In the corner, shot partially blocked, although saved 
briefly by Munson. Stolen back now, a big foul on Hoffman as he got mugged on the way up the floor. Peter Carey. So both the carries are out there. Trying to take advantage of that height. Height uh, deficit. And Morse, left side. They lob it into Peter. Peter trying for a pick and roll with Evans. It's stolen back by Munson. Mustang is going to slow it down a bit now. Trying to set the offense up right side to Miller. Over to Cisco, top of the key. He has eight points in this half. Over to Gary. And Carterville tries to drive on Karsten. They throw it back out to Gary. Eight seconds to shoot. Carterville lobs it in. And trying to go under the baseline was Gunther. It was blocked out by Carey. And the rebound comes back the other way. 45-38. Carey, a hook shot on the baseline, no good. Peter Carey, the rebound, fresh 30. Put up jumpers, no good. Hoffman, though, cleans up the glass, lays it up, could not make it fall. And here comes Munson. Gary now, pulling it back. Left side to Miller. The elbow to Craddeville. And he loses the ball between his legs. Picks it up. Three ball, no good. Crashing the board. And Munson comes away with it. No way they should have gotten that rebound. Fresh 30 back out to Gunther. Right now, Munson looks like the more aggressive team. Cisco now. Back over to Gary. Gary in the corner. Gets it back. Now Craddeville, top of the key. Stolen, though, by Evans. And Evans loses control of the basketball. Ball hits the floor, and it's taken back by Munson. Wow. Gary now. No look pass down low. Laying it up and in is Cisco. And right now it's starting to get away from Frontier, and Ben Barashevsky wants to talk about it. 5.34 to go in the game. It's Munson 47, Frontier 38, Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Frontier Red Hawks in a bit of trouble right now as they trail the Munson Mustang by nine points. Largest lead of the game for either team. As Frontier has made a couple of good steals, but they just have not been able to convert some questionable passes in the second half. Kind of stuff that drives a coach nuts. However, it is early in the season, and these kinds of things happen. Got to work the bugs out a bit and get ready to head down to the stretch in the Hampshire League schedule coming up. Alex Sharp back into the game. Left side it goes to Morse. Morse loses control. Goes through the lane. Lays it up. Reverse layup is good by Ben, uh, ben Listowski. <laughs> now a near steal by Musica. Gary now. Gets it back. Three ball from the corner is no good. Rebound comes out. Out of bounds. It's going to be a Munson ball as it went off the foot of the Frontier player. I'm not sure who kicked it, but Gunther the inbound for Munson. 47-40. Munson by seven. Plenty of time to mount a comeback, but Frontier is going to have to make some plays. Now a big deep three by Gary is no good. Karsten carry the rebound. Now that pass is sharp. Alex. That's back the other way. Left side. Up fake. And the theme music in the paint does Lestowski. Now back outside. Morris for three. Does not go. Rebound tipped around. Controlled by Munson. Here come the Mustangs. And they'll throw it back out to Gary. He'll take some time off the clock. Set things up. Good strategy. He feeds the paint. Back to Gary. Gary drives through, running one hander off the glass. No good. Rebound pulled down by Muzika. Outlet to Lestowski. Up ahead to Sharp. Sharp. Muzika lays it up. Good. And Jared Muzika's got seven points in this half. Cuts the lead to five. 3.57 to go in the game. 
Logan Gary, bounce pass in the corner. Three ball by Cisco. back iron no good. Munson's gone cold, one and out. Morse, up ahead to Sharp. Back to Morse, to Sharp. Back to Morse, left elbow. Now Morse runs it back over, across. To Sharp again, in the corner. Try to feed Muzika in the paint. That just has not worked all night. Didn't work that time either. Gary to walk it up. 3.20 to go in the game. Down the left elbow. They feed the paint to Merrigan. And a reach-in foul is going to be called. No, neither team near the bonus at this point, really. So we're not shooting. Possession foul. They inbound it. Turn around, hook off the glass, no good, too strong. Out of bounds, oh, oh, pulled down by Muzika. Up ahead, and again, pass is stolen away. Not a great pass by Owen Morse there. And Gary now with it. Less than three minutes to go in the game. Frontier down by five. Gary. Trying to get a screen. Now a little pick and roll. On the baseline, and hacked on the way up was Merrigan. And Alex Merrigan will go to the line for a couple of big free throws here with 2.38 to go in the game. Merrigan, I believe, is playing with four fouls. That was the second foul on Jared Muzika. Merrigan's first shot, no good. Foul shooting has been terrible on both sides of the ball tonight. Second shot, and that's no good. The rebound pulled down by Gunther. The putback was knocked loose by Carey. Clean block, but it's going to be front uh, Munson basketball. The inbound. Kick back out. Cisco. Three. Bang! Yikes. Timeout on the floor. And the lead's back up to eight. 2.31 to go in the game. It's Munson 50. Frontier 42. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Sisko has been a monster in this half for the Munson Mustangs. He has hit three threes, 13 points, 15 for the game, leads all scorers. And uh, right now the Frontier Red Hawks have got to come up with some kind of an answer. They've made some good defensive plays, but their passing has been not great in the second half, and that's been one of the differences uh, in this game. That's one of the reasons why Munson leads by eight. This was a very, very even game almost throughout the entire matchup until the fourth quarter, and then that was when Munson started blowing open some pretty big leads. We'll see if the Red Hawks have an answer. Two and a half to go. Trailing by eight. Once again, Frontier Basketball being brought to you in part by your home centers, by Raymond Financial Services, and by attorney Dan Graves. Deerfield. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Sam Finch here at Good No Gymnasium. <coughs> Sharp takes the inbound pass from Muzika. Right side to Lostowski. Back to, to Sharp. Over to Evans. Starting five on the floor for Frontier. They try to feed Karsten Carey in the paint. Stolen away. That just has not worked all night, and it didn't work that time. Gary now. Going to pull back and take some time off the clock. Gary runs right side. A little pick and roll. Lays it up and in. Beautifully done by Alex Merrigan. 52-42. Lead is now 10. Mastowski running one-hander in the lane. Does not go. Rebound pulled down by Cisco. To Gary. Gary gets fouled by Sharp quickly. And that slows things down, but it's still we're not still not shooting. It's three on sharp. Nastoski out. And Owen Morris back in. When Barshevsky wants to talk about it, we'll take the break. 141 to go in the game. It's Munson 52, Frontier 42. Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, 
your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. From here, the Red Hawks. Little Ludlow Friday night. And then they're back here in this building on Wednesday the 27th against Wakona. Dylan Gunther to throw it in right in front of us to Logan Gary. And the inbound pass is stolen nicely by Evans. Evans, right side to Morse. Morse running it back cross court over to Evans. Not a lot of time here to play around with it. To Sharp, cross court to Morse. Morris to Musica. Back out to Morris. Morris for three. Good! Now, full court press by Frontier. And Cisco gets fouled by Musica. Musica now will. Actually, still not shooting. That's three on Musica. There's still two more fouls to give to get into the one and one. Inbound pass, now another foul by Morse. Fouls Merrigan. And one more will be into the one and one. Gunther, throw it in. He does. And a pass. And ball's tied up. Munson calls time. Stop the clock with 102 to go in the contest. And still a seven-point lead. Munson, 52, Frontier, 45. Back in a minute, Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight, the Frontier girls go to Greenfield to take on the Greenfield Green Wave. That will be a big early season test for Frontier, which has uh, had some success early on. But this Greenfield team is obviously uh, loaded and uh, big, big expectations for them to go deep into the postseason, although we're a long way from there. <coughs> no one's even close to qualifying for postseason play. Turners Falls Indians also looking like a pretty good team. The Frontier girls will see them. Actually, they'll be at Turner's Falls on the 26th of January. And that will be a real test for the girls from Frontier. Gunther inbounds to Gary. And a steal by Morse. Morse up ahead to Sharp. Back to Morse. Nice job. Minute left. Over to Evans' left side. Evans cross court to Sharp. Sharp for three. Does not go. Carry the rebound. Put back. Does not go. Rebound knocked loose. And who's it going to go to? They have not indicated. It's going to be Frontier's ball. Sharp to throw it in. Throws it out to Morse. Morse trying to get loose to Evans. Back to Morse. Someone's got to take a shot here pretty quick. Sharp in the corner to Musica. And a foul. Munson players think it was a travel, but it was not. Shot clock is off. Frontier with the ball, and they give it to Musico. The turnaround layup is good for Jared. 
No full court press and a foul by Musica as Gary was headed up the floor. And we're into the bonus now, so it'll be one and one for Logan Gary. But this would be a tall order for Frontier to come back at this point. Gary with the one and one. First one is no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Evans. Evans is bumped by Gunther, and that's probably going to be it for him. I think that's five. D. Gunther is already headed to the bench. Dylan Gunther will finish with six points as he fouls out. And Sharp will shoot a one and one here. I'm sorry, Evans, excuse me. We'll shoot a one and one. Nastoski in, Musica out. So Kalen Evans. First one is good. He'll get one more. That cuts the lead to four. If he hits this, it's a one possession game. And he does not. Ball's tipped deep, though. And Evans gets it back. 15 seconds left. Timeout. So, so smart play by Cameron Evans to call the timeout. Frontier trails by four. It's Munson 52, Frontier 48. 13 seconds left. Come back for the finish. This is Frontier Community Access Television. 13.4 seconds left in this one. As this is not... Uh, this is not... Uh, what I would say is a likely scenario, but it's possible. Frontier has the ball. They could shoot a quick three and press Munson and steal the ball back. It's just, you don't put it in front of the camera, though. Put him, put him there. Wistowski to inbound for the Red Hawks. Into Evans. Evans for three. No. Off. Rebound back to Sharp, though. Sharp trying to get loose. No foul called. Four seconds left. Frontier will keep it as it went off of a Munston player. Sharp inbounds. Three ball from the corner, no good by Morse, and that will do it. Final score from Goodno Gymnasium, my Munson Mustangs 52, the Frontier Redhawks 48 will wrap it up coming up on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employees. Attorney Daniel Gray is Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Well, the Frontier Red Hawks hung with the Munson Mustangs for most of this game, but a really rough fourth quarter results in a four-point win for the Munson Mustangs. The Munson Mustangs 52-48 to here at Goodno Gymnasium. Leading scorer in the game was Chris Sisko for Munson at 15 points. 11 each for Cameron Crowderville and 11 for Logan Gary. Six for Dylan Gunther, who fouled out. Five for Alex Merrigan, and four for Peter Miller. Leading scorer for the Frontier Redhawks was Kalen Evans with 12 points. Ten for Ben Lestoski. Eight for Owen Morse. Nine for Jared Muzika. And six for Karsten Carey all in the second half. There were some signs of brilliance tonight from Frontier. They had, they had some good play in the first half. Hung right with Munson, but too many mistakes in the second half, I think, were their downfall. And so the Frontier Redhawks come away with a 52-48 loss. They moved to 0-3 on the season, and they are winless. Well, 0-0 in league play. No league games have occurred yet, all independent so far. 
Frontier Red Hawks are next in action on Friday night at Ludlow. And we'll next have the Frontier boys uh, next week. Our first game post-Christmas on Wednesday night, the 27th, in this building against the Wakona Warriors. That'll do it for our coverage of Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. My broadcast uh, colleagues Alec Eckel and Sam Finch, the executive producer of high school basketball, is Kevin Murphy. I'm Chris Collins. We'll talk to you next time. Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television.